that was one of my first goals, you know, to try and get the All-American. And um, obviously once I'd got that, then I wanted to push on and go even further in the tournament. So, um, no, but just to be able to, you know, win those two matches and then obviously <laughs> kept it a little bit dramatic in the second match. Just, um, yeah, so no, I can, you know, be able to say the British All-American now, so... <laughs> Yeah, no, it was definitely it was definitely pretty cool to be able to get yeah, that. No, I mean, it's unbelievable. I could seriously feel the support all the way in Illinois from Rice here. It was great to be able to, you know, realise that I had the whole of Rice behind me. Um, no, I got, obviously, like you said, you know, Twitter and all that stuff. I got quite a few tweets from everybody, so I really appreciate all that for everybody who did that. And um, obviously Katie back in Scotland <laughs> watching the match, tweeting at me, that was also pretty cool. So it just showed that no matter where everybody was, it was like, it felt like everybody was there and really pulling for me. So I really appreciate all that support. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. That was um, it was a tough match, and it was like pretty close, you know, all the way through. I think I was five three down in the first set. Actually, you know, she was obviously a good player, you know, seeded top ten in the nation. Um, but I just kept, you know, trying to play my game, and then I felt like I finally, you know, got going and started being able to do the things that I wanted to do. Um, and that match then just being able to, you know, come off and realise that, you know, if I'm playing my game and I feel like I'm confident, I felt like I could pretty much, you know, play with anybody. And, you know, so that gave me a lot of confidence then to go on through the tournament and made me realise that, you know, if I did play my game, I could go on and do some damage in the tournament. Yeah, exactly. I feel like, you know, even if you get, even if you beat somebody early in the season, that, that sometimes doesn't necessarily mean anything, when, especially when it gets to a tournament like NCAAs, because... You know, when it gets down to those matches, everybody wants to win. You know, there's, there's not that they don't want to win earlier in the season, but I feel like there's that extra drive there. And like you said, especially especially because she was um, a senior, that was going to be one of her last matches. So I feel like she had that extra push as well to, you know, go on and try and obviously get to the next round again. So that definitely was <laughs> was a tough match. And I feel like you said, you know, early on in the season didn't really reflect on that match, <laughs> you know that type of match. No, Ariel definitely turned it on when she when we went indoors. I feel like um, you know, she was starting to really hit some huge backhand and forehand winners down the line. So that was definitely something that I had to um, try and reassess and just try and, you know, try and deal with that. Um and obviously going indoors, you know, the conditions are different. Even though it's you know, they say it's the same same surface and all that stuff. So it's not necessarily the same because, you know, the air's different, there's no wind dealing you know, when you toss and all that stuff. So it's it is different even though it's technically the same court. Um, so that was definitely something to deal with and fair play to Ariel, she stepped it up big time and went indoors and she played She played a really solid match. I was just lucky that I was able to hang in there and eventually turn it around right just in time. <laughs> the point. <laughs> um, honestly, like, I can't really remember the point. I just know Elizabeth when I got off the court was like, that was a seriously, <laughs> a seriously athletic point. I just remember when I was um, match point now, I was just thinking, get this ball, get this ball, get this ball. And luckily... I did that enough times and ended up winning the point. Um, so that definitely then I feel like changed a little bit of the momentum of the match. And, you know, from there I was lucky enough to be able to get it back to 5 all and then take the set 7-5. Um, but, yeah, it was definitely and I, it was definitely one of those points that I just kept thinking, next one, come on, get this ball, get this ball. <laughs> no, especially from, like, Jason and um, Elizabeth and then Eunice as well, obviously, was on the court with me. Um, no, after after I got off the court, they were like, that was, you know, the point. And I didn't, I was just, honestly, I, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you more than two shots that happened in that point if I tried, which is kind of unusual, because usually I can be like, oh, yeah, this happened in this point. But I was literally just thinking of the next ball the whole time. <laughs> so, yeah, I honestly really can't remember much of that point, but apparently it stuck out in their minds. So, <laughs> um, no, I can remember after um, playing Ariel, I was, like, the adrenaline was crazy. After that, after that match for a solid, like, two hours, I was still, like, really... Um, amped up and everything um, but then actually my brother <laughs> my brother was texting me he was like okay right we can enjoy this one until three o'clock and then <laughs> from then on we're focusing on the next match <laughs> so I actually kind of owe a little bit that's my brother <laughs> um, and obviously you know Elizabeth and Eunice and they, they're a great team around me I've, I'm lucky to have them so they were like focus on the task at hand now so um, I then um, started focusing on the next match and then you know I enjoyed the win but then it's on to the next day and focus on that match. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like we definitely, ex you know, me and we went in there with a game plan. Like Elizabeth and Eunice talked to me about what I needed to do and things like that. And I feel like I just executed it pretty well that day. I was, you know, from the start, so I felt like I got out to a quick start. And Car Caroline played a pretty good match, but I just felt like um, I felt like everything I was doing that day was just working. <laughs> it was just one of those good days. So um, luckily, the plan that we had was what I needed to do, and I, I just executed that. And one thing led to another, so I just, you know, kept focusing on you know, just getting from point to point and then, you know, won the match. Yeah, I think, um, 
you know, obviously she got the first set and then after the second set, I started out pretty pretty fast in the second set and I got like two or three love lead. Um, and I feel like even though I was still, even though I won that set, second set dominantly, I played pretty good tennis, but I feel like I still wasn't necessarily settled in the match. So even when I got when I got to the third set then, you know, fair play to, fair play to Alexa, she played a really solid third set and she hardly made any mistakes. So I had to play, I had to obviously play well to be able to get that third set. Um, but yeah, I feel like I just never completely settled down in the whole of that match. I feel like, um, you know, I was pretty, like I was one, one extreme to the other kind of. So, you know, Alexa did play well, but I feel like the fact that I'd never settled down, then in the third set when she got that quick 1-2-0 lead, then it was kind of like, it just went really fast then, steamrolled from there. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool because obviously, you know, like all of the matches that you play at Nationals, there's no, there's no easy match. So it's like the deeper and deeper you get, it's just, it's just tough matches all the way through. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really cool to like see just like, you know, the people that um, were coming up to me and everything, you know, that I obviously hadn't had the chance to meet before. Um, and it's funny as well because like people who, you know, old coaches from years ago who I knew from the same club, they've now like seen on Twitter and they've like got in touch with me again saying congrats and all this stuff. So it's cool to just see like also people that I knew from years ago who've like seen um, nationals now. So they're like, oh, Natalie, and then they've got back in touch with me. So it's, that's been a pretty cool thing as well to be able to do that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no, it was, it was an unbelievable experience and just to be able to, you know, go there and compete in four matches. Um, it's it's a it's a good experience just to be able to get deeper and deeper in the tournament and see that you know less people are here and all that stuff. Um, no, it definitely meant a lot to be able to go and represent Rise for you know like that in the um, the tournament at the end of the year. I feel like that was it was a great honour to be able to do that. So that's something that I'll always be able to remember. And I still have two years left, so that's another exciting thing as well. <laughs>